What's up, Weirdo Shatry here with an update on the Double Dragon FXRs, Old 92 and the Wet Spot. Old 92 had a small leak from the front rocker box, so I got new gaskets for them. During the job, I found out the leak was caused by a loose bolt, not a gasket failure, but we replaced the gaskets anyway. We weren't completely satisfied with the performance of the CV carb on this built engine, so Joe the Mountain Jedi used the force on Makuni flat slide. With a bit of fine tuning, this bike has turned into the fastest 80 inch Evo I've ever ridden. <laughs> There they go! We replaced the 11 inch slammers with factory length 13s and all old 92 needs now is for someone to buy the winning ticket and become its new one. The wet spot took a bit more work. Seeing as most shovel heads have been passed around like a twink in county, most of the work was fixing the many different previous owners' mistakes. Rocker box leaks and rocker arm shaft leaks decorate pretty much every shovel out there, but Joe and Shelby weren't about to let this thing out of here without the motor being buttoned up tighter than a preacher's asshole. A hypercharger missing a filter, a CV carb that didn't belong on a shovel, and split lock washers on the rocker arm shafts were among the new entries on the wall of shame. Shelby rebuilt an SNS Super, which definitely works better on a shovel than a CV, but the boys still consider that carb to be basically a controlled fuel leak. All the paper gaskets were scraped and the top end was buttoned up with a brand new James gasket kit. The wet spot is now back to happily making potatoes and without leaking a single drop of oil, which somehow doesn't feel right, even though Joe and Shelby assure me that they actually aren't supposed to mark their territory. There's exactly one day left to grab a ticket to win one of these bikes. We'll be pulling the winner live Friday, July 7th on the Shade Tree Surgeon YouTube channel. Link in the bio to grab tickets. 100% of all proceeds go to benefit Forgotten Angels and their fight to end the cycle of foster care abuse. So when people talk about a bike making potatoes, that's what they're talking about.